Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to learn you a thing about Amazon stores. Uh, so an Amazon store is essentially um, a landing page that uh, helps introduce you to your customers or any potential customers. Uh, so it's got your background, your story, uh, your products, essentially anything you want to include. So this is what a live brand store looks like. This is the Age of Sage. Uh, you can see here we have a nice little navigation bar and we even have a place for Amazon posts which you can take straight from Facebook or Instagram. So um, how do we make this look nice? You may be asking. Well, we'll pop on over here. And then to get over here, first of all, I kind of want to walk you through what that would look like. So we'll just go to Seller Central. We'll go to Stores, Manage Stores, and then Edit Store. And that's how we get to that page. So from here, um, there are all kinds of modules. We'll just kind of dive into them right here. So your homepage module, this will have your header. Uh, your header uh, will automatically comes with that navigation bar that I pointed out, as well as some other features, brand logo. Uh, you can go in here, upload your logo. Um, I'm gonna add a couple of banners if you'd like. Let's see. You can add a product grid, which is pretty recommended uh, just because that's laid out really nice. You've got your add to cart feature, uh, but you can display this in other uh, ways if you'd like. Uh, importantly, you might want to click this box to hide out of stock products. Um, you can choose how to add products if you want to add them automatically based off keyword manually by search. This is probably the best way especially if you're only featuring certain products in the store. So let's go back here. And then we can kind of navigate up here as well. So these are the subheaders. So you see here, so smudge sticks, mom box, etc. So all of that's going to show here. Now note that the Amazon posts does not show up here, but it will still automatically um, show up on the storefront as long as that's been enabled. So uh, from here, you can go in um, and input a page meta description. So this is important uh, for Google indexability. Uh, you can put anything you want in here. Some people will put just like a word salad of keywords, but it's pretty recommended um, to kind of put like a short blurb about what, you're about what your product is about. Sorry. So this one, gift boxes for her, mom, Mother's Day, all year round. So there's some keywords in here, but they're strung together in a way that's very organic um, that looks natural. So if you Googled Age of Sage and this showed up in Google, uh, that's what they would see instead of a bunch of words underneath of the header. We can also go in here from page. Well, let's make sure I covered everything on the home page. So all the sections you can add here, you can add a split section. Um, and this is just for some images. If you want to add some additional images, uh, products, that's pretty self-explanatory image with text, shoppable image. So that's if you wanted an image that kind of redirects to the Amazon page, text, video, and background video. Now there is an important difference between these two, whereas a video can kind of act as an ad of sorts, not exactly an ad, um, since that's a whole different topic entirely, uh, but you know, just something to kind of introduce someone to the video or to the video, to the brand. Uh, background video does not have any sound or anything like that. It's just kind of loops in the background. It's meant to look nice. Maybe some nice ocean waves or something. If you're trying to go for a beachy, relaxed vibe, if that's your product. Um, product ga gallery, product grid. So that's everything. Now, custom code, this is a newer feature and this is featured on some of these modules here. However, it's worth noting that this is a like custom HTML code, as you would think. This is actually uh, something with Amazon Custom Advertising, which is an entirely separate um, division altogether. Uh, you would have to get up with an Amazon ad expert, and that's kind of where like uh, your special packaging comes from, like the Grinch boxes, stuff like that. Uh, that's Amazon Custom. 
uh, but they could put some custom code here if you are working with an Amazon custom advertising agent. Um, otherwise, that will likely not be used. So similar, similarly here, for these tiles, um, you know, images, eight tiles, blah, blah, blah. We already went over this. All right, excellent. So now let's go on uh, to another page. So this is just uh, if you wanted to customize your tabs. So again, over here, this is just the soaps tab. If we click on it, uh, we're brought up to this, which does have subscribe and save. That's really nice. Uh, we have this nice image, um, like a little infographic, uh, another infographic. So the way we achieved that, let's go here product, product, image, image. Very simple. Uh, some other sections you can add is very similar uh, to the header section. Uh, you can add product, image, image with text, shoppable image, uh, just regular text, video, background video, product grid, gallery, best-selling products, recommended products, featured deals. Uh, also that custom code, but again, that's very likely not going to be used uh, as we're initially creating the store. So you can also navigate to store settings. Um, and here you can just kind of add your brand, um, your brand name, logo. Uh, you can choose how to display the logo or if you want to display it at all. You can choose your product grid style, um, which could be standard or tall. And yeah, that pretty much covers it. Um, and that's the mobile view. This is desktop view. So if you wanted to go back and forth between the two, now, you may be asking, okay, so I've done all this. How do I send this to somebody to preview? Well, that's a fantastic question. So what you would do, and, you know, there could be different versions here, so make sure you're on the right one. So let's just say new version is our draft that we want to publish, and I want to send this on to Steven. I would just click here and share preview. So this... Um, this generates a link for both desktop and mobile, but if you wanted to do mobile only or desktop only, there are options for that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this back here. And yeah, that pretty much covers the brand store. Um, you can also advertise to the brand store using a sponsored brand campaign. But again, that might be a topic for another video. Well, I hope that you found this informative. I have no idea how to close out videos. Uh, but I will catch you later. See ya!